This video is sponsored by Asset Dash. Looking to track all your stocks, crypto, NFTs, DeFi, and private equity in real time and in one spot? Asset Dash is the place for you. They support every major crypto exchange, brokerage, blockchain, and wallet, including but not limited to your Coinbase wallet, MetaMask wallet, Solana wallets, and so much more. This is the best way to view your Ethereum and Solana NFTs in real time. Asset Dash also provides notifications and insights about your investments, so you always know how well your assets are doing. It was recently ranked number one on Product Hunt for the week. And the best part, it's completely free. Check it out down below with the link in the description. And before we get into it, Asset Dash were actually nice enough to give you guys a free NFT. They asked me, they said, hey Matt, what do you think your viewers might like? And I said, hey, why not give away a bot board? So if you guys use the link down below in the description, you have to use that link down below. You guys could potentially get a free bot board. All you have to do is download the app with my link and put in your Solana wallet. NFTs. Should they be derugged? If you guys have been out of the loop, I know this might sound like a whole bunch of mumbo jumbo, but I'm gonna try to highlight as easy as possible in today's video why I think derugging is actually not a bad idea. Now, if you guys are like, okay, like what is derugging? I have no idea what that is. I'll try to make it as easy as possible. The premise is that for certain NFTs, they have unfortunately experienced rug pulls. This has happened many a time on Ethereum, Solana, just about every chain that exists. And the problem, of course, with rug pulls is that they operate typically in two fashions. Either Either in one instance, we could call this a soft rug, the developer releases the NFT, makes a whole bunch of money and says, yep, yeah, I'm out of here. I'm done. I already made my bag and this project is going to rot. And that creates a horrible social media sentiment and causes the project floor to absolutely crash. Now, the second instance, of course, is what I like to call a hard rug. And in that instance is where they actually go into your wallet and like raid all of your Solana or Ethereum. That's significantly worse. Both are horrible, but that's significantly worse. And uh, I think it's slightly less frequent than the average just rug pull. I'm out of here. I made my million dollars. I'm gone. Question has arisen should we take these projects and bring them back from the grave? And if so, how can that be done? Well, that's what I hope to highlight in today's video. If you guys are new, drop a like, subscribe, and let's get right into it. So the first thing I'll do is show you an example of a collection that did not get derugged, and it's kind of sad. So the first thing you'll notice is that there is a warning here on Magic Eden for this collection. It says this collection has been flagged by the community as either being offensive, a scam, or a potential IP infringement. Please do your own research before trading. So you click I understand, and this is the floor for Solana Lion Cat Business. This is a project that I actually liked at the time. I thought could have been cool, and unfortunately, of course, it ended up being a rug. So uh, people basically, you know, you you see this project. There is basically no volume. We look at the recent sales all a day ago and we click the Twitter account doesn't exist. It is gone. There is exactly zero interest in helping this project continue in any way, shape or form. Now, I would say the most likely scenario is that whoever created this saw that the floor wasn't doing too hot and said, you know what? Why am I wasting my time? I'm out of here. And as terrible as that is, unfortunately, there is no legal obligation that someone has in the NFT space. Now, part of that is, is good in the sense of there is, you know, not a whole lot of legislation written about NFTs right now. I think I think under regulation is better than over regulation. But the point of the matter is when you have a group like this that says, yeah, I'm going to do X, Y and Z on my roadmap, yada, yada. The problem is they have no obligation to fulfill that in any way, shape or form. What are you going to do? You're going to file a report and say, hey, yeah, this this NFT I bought. Yeah. Non fungible token. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look it up. Google it. They they didn't follow their roadmap. I mean, it wouldn't happen. And that's why in so many of these instances, people just pack their bags and leave. Now, an example of a rug like this that was actually resurrected is Ultron Apes. So this is an example of a project that initially, when it first came out, was a rug, meaning that whoever created this had no interest in following any of the roadmap or doing anything. And essentially what happens after that is that Magic Eden uh, ended up taking over the project and then the project was given or bought by another team which has resurrected it and gotten the floor to a nice price of 5.6. I'm actually still holding on to my Ultron 8. I bought it at like 1.5 and I'm very happy with that because I have faith in these guys. I think it's very cool that they were as a whole able to turn a project that people minted and bought very high on secondary markets, got burned by, and then were able to watch resurrect. So uh, in this instance, you know, there's, there's only 777 of them. And the goal is to take this to the next level, I suppose, as best possible. We look at their Twitter 
And, you know, these guys are trying. They're really trying hard. And, you know, that's something that ultimately I like. And I think it's better than a sad fate uh, of, the, of the abyss of a project that has no life in it anymore whatsoever. So, again, that's definitely where I stand with Ultron Apes. I think it is very cool that they have taken a project that would have been just another one of these flagged collections and turned it into something nice. Now, before we go any further, guys, if you guys are enjoying, make sure to check out my Patreon down below in the description so you guys can see exactly what NFTs I am buying and selling, as well as exclusive access to my NFT watch list, my Patreon-only Discord chats, and so much more. To be honest with you guys, I think it's a steal for only $10 a month. Link down below. Now, a lot of people have issues with this, and I do understand where the issues come from. I simply do not agree. The issues with derugging, so to speak, is that people say, hey, what about the people who minted and sold for really cheap when it crashed? What about the people who bought it really high on secondary? You know, I bought an NFT for $2,000, and it crashed, and I sold it for half a Solana. I sold it for 50 bucks, and now it got resurrected, and it's pumping again. How is that fair to the people who sold for dirt cheap after the crash? And to be honest with you, it's not fair. Life is not fair, unfortunately. And really, when it comes down to it, I would rather a project be in this state, a thriving, you know, somewhat livable state, than a project that is just completely dead. So yes, unfortunately, there will be some level of NFTs transferred, but that can happen with any project. If there's an NFT that has, you know, a really high floor price, it pumps all the way up and then crashes for some other reason, and maybe the market decided to act up or for whatever reason, you know, it might have not even been a rug. Unfortunately, the people who bought high and sold for cheap also pay the consequences. That is the risk that we take when we get into NFTs. You know, as much as we would like to hope that, you know, everybody can win all the time, that doesn't really happen. So again, it is our goal to help people as best possible win as most possible. And that's what I try to do over on my Patreon, link down below, of course. But, you know, the goal is, you know, to have a free um, system of some sort that, you know, does not limit projects, even when, you know, there is a community that wants to resurrect something that unfortunately has such a bad, you know, history and such a bad stigma attached to it. Here's another example of a semi-successful derugging. It's hard to say whether these guys will be in a month or whatnot, but uh, I definitely am impressed with what they've done so far. This is Balloonsville 2.0. The original Balloonsville was a rug, unfortunately, over on Twitter, and the, the creators started tweeting a bunch of foul things at all of the platforms. It was basically just going wrecking havoc uh, on the Solana community for like a whole day or two. And um, I think he deleted his Twitter now. It's hard to say. But, uh, you know, what happened was he ended up giving his project to Magic Eden. You know, I'm done. You know, get, get this out of my life. And Magic Eden was able to take it over. And again, you know, let the community sort of uh, feed this project. And they are attempting to derug it. So uh, this is a project that I bought for like 1.5 and sold for 3. You know, quick little 2x. But I probably will uh, re-enter at some point, you know, when I feel like uh, purchasing one of these again. But... Uh, I'm supporting it. I do think this is very cool. I think it is nice that there is a project that unfortunately, you know, instantly got a bad rap. It, it had a horrible floor crash, floor price tanked, and the community said, you know what, we're not going to accept that. We're not going to accept this rug under any circumstances. We're going to fight this in as many ways possible. And the best way they have fought this is by giving it more volume. Because think about it, you're a scammer. You don't want to support your project anymore. You're, you're leaving it to rot. What would irritate you the most? Well, perhaps seeing some activity that you would have benefited from, you would have made 5% royalty or whatnot if you would have gotten all of these secondary sales, but because you left, you are not reaping those rewards anymore. So the more that these sell, uh, in a sense, the more you are spiting the person that rugged this in the first place. Now, again, the person who rugged this made out like a half a million dollars. I'm, I'm sure he's not crying about it, but ultimately, it is still better than letting the project that you know the community was scammed by, letting that project die, almost in a sense feels insulting to the people who actually minted this, who actually had faith in it, who actually believed in it before the roadmap was even proven. Now we have a community that is swearing that they will execute a roadmap that has been, you know, created and devised. And I think it's nice to give the community a chance to give people who are willing to take a project, whether it's Ultron Apes or Balloonsville, who are willing to take a project out of the trenches and try to bring it back to the forefront of where it could have been if the original person would have done what they said they were going to do so all around guys i hope you all have enjoyed the video definitely make sure to drop a like let me know down below in the comments or not you guys agree again we don't have to agree i respect and appreciate all of your opinions and insights down below because it is a complicated subject and i totally do understand how some people may not see this as being an ideal idea but uh, i hope i shared my thoughts you know articulately and well in this video if you guys did enjoy again the patreon's down below thank you so much my name is matt i'll see you all in the next one peace